Yo guys, what's up? It's Inflexius. Today we're playing Jax vs. Jace top. So versus Jace, we want to try to take early prior. He's going to do that. We're going to Q auto him, run away. He procs his phase rush, that's fine. We don't want to get hit by that Q until we get our Q back. He uses Q. Jump on him back out. And we have secured the push semi. Focus. Good stuff. Okay. So we hit level 2 here. We run at him. Okay, he's hit level 2 as well, so we have to respect again. He has no Q now, so we can just jump on his head here. That's fine. Now he's on cooldown. His E has a longer cooldown than our E. Now my worry is him queuing. Okay, he has put a ward there. That's fine. My worry was him queuing the minions there in ma hammer form, right? And getting me with the splash damage. Wow, I might... I leveled it. I put a second point in E by accident. I didn't mean to do that. Wow. I meant to use it, but I accidentally leveled it. I don't care, though. I need to get this wave in. Ah, uh, but no. That's a bit of a disaster, though. Like, the way I couldn't shove the wave fast enough. Ah! That's really terrible, me putting that extra point in E there. I need to be respectful, I don't know where Mundo is. But he's getting chunked out pretty hard here. So we pull the wave here, so that it'll push back towards us. We duel to the death. Or till you Okay, interesting. So I'm just going to recall here. I'm going to get myself a longsword, refillable, and TP back. Jace got a tier, so we know he's a bit weaker in lane, because he didn't- tier doesn't give any combat stats, right? Just mana. Now I need to try to thin this wave here. He wastes that ability there, so we can maybe look for a trade at this point. I just need to really thin this wave, though, because I don't want to get one shot by a bunch of minions as I trade on him. Nah, he's got the push a bit too hard here. Okay, he ease us immediately. That's actually not bad at all. If we can hit level 5 this year still, that'd be really cool, though. There we go, okay. Level 5 acquired. I'm actually gonna trade on him here with Ghost. There we go. Ghost diff. Just run him. If they're overextended against you in lane like that, then... You can just run them down with Ghost, right? Assuming he doesn't have E, and he didn't there, right? It has a shorter cooldown. It has a longer cooldown than our E, especially since we accidentally put that point in it earlier. So, we just get to all in him there. Another trick in this matchup is if he goes into cannon form, ranged form, right? Then, if he goes into ranged form, then that puts him on a... Actually, let's get this thing. I think the health will be more. That puts him on a 6 second cooldown before he can go into hammer form, right? Into melee form. Which means he can't use his E, right? So if he switches to ranged form, he can't use his E for the next 6 seconds. That gives you an opening to jump on him there. Now, we could have jumped on him anyway because his E was on cooldown. But if even if his E is not on cooldown, right? He needs to go into hammer form to actually use the E there, right? Now, we just got to watch out for Jay's EQ. From Fog of War, because Jaces are funny, they love to EQ you from the fog. Okay, so we see Mundo just took the dragon here, we he's down here. An enemy has been slain. Now versus Jace, it's perfectly valid to go play to Steel Caps Rush, and maybe I should have done that this lane. But I'm feeling confident because I got that early kill, that I might not need to, and maybe I can rush my Sundered Sky. I'll see how the rest of the lane goes. If 
fair enough. I should have used my E as he queued me there so that he couldn't order me. It's my bad. I misused my E there. So the trade wasn't as good as it should have been. But it's actually fine because we can now get Pryo here and then go get Honey Fruits. Does he just hold the wave? I mean, whatever. He will take a bunch of damage for that. Okay, he one-shots the wave. Fair enough. So we come over here, we heal with the fleet. You guys will notice that I'm running a super sustained setup here with second wind, D shield, and fleet. Okay, Jace doing that EQ there is actually kind of trolling by him. Because that just lets the wave push towards me here and then maybe I can, you know, set up a freeze. It pushes the wave harder towards me here, and then maybe I can set up a freeze. Then the cannon, kill the cannon there to thin the wave. So Jace is just one-shotting the wave on repeat here. I'm just going to drag the wave here, use my E to tank the minions. Okay, no, my team's backing out, good stuff. We're stronger if Cassidy can get over here. Give this to my team. There we go. And the good stuff. I thin the I tried to thin the wave enough that I would be able to let the wave wind crash into my tower during that engagement there. Because I couldn't shove it out fast enough, right? I wouldn't be able to. I don't have that shoving power. But... So I tried to thin the wave, but, uh, you know, I didn't thin it enough. It's really hard to set it up in that scenario, right? And I had very little time to do it with. But, you know what? It worked out anyway. I'll take that uh, crash there for being able to collapse onto them and, like, win that Herald fight there, right? Any day of the week. We almost have a Sundered Sky as well. I really like Sundered Sky into Jace because it helps you... Beat him in these short trades, right? It's hard, in my experience, if Jace rushes Sundered Sky and you end up with Titanic Hydra, it's really hard to take positive trades versus him you know? because he can just disengage so easily, right? So I just like to go Sundered Sky to have the stronger early trades. Or not the early trades, sorry. The stronger short trades. Go away, Jace. Ouch. Have to use W here. Secure the minions. Get him, Diego. There we go. I didn't need to use my E there, right? I can't click on this minion because of the Viego uh, thing on top of it. But I didn't need to even need to use my Q there, right? I could just hold on to it and beat on him. And then if he somehow made distance from us, I could just use my Q there, right? Because the Jace was so focused on dodging the Viego W. No, oh, I... Nah, the Viego <laughs> entered that pretty hard. <laughs> okay, so I entered there. I played that pretty... Like, what happened was... What was supposed to happen was Viego would stun him, and then I would be able to walk in, burst the... The Jace with the Viego, and then we'd kill him. G Viego missed the W. So then I had target champions only on. So then I tried to ward hop to a minion, but then my target champions only, you know, didn't allow that. So that was a bit of disaster. I used my E there for a bit of extra reach on him. I'm just gonna walk at him, okay. Ouch. If he's just chilling in hammer form like that, I'm just going to walk at him, right? Ah, him with blue buff as well now sucks. Gonna wait for him to recall? No. 
Okay, he doesn't, he's just going to EQ the wave here. No, just, okay, just Q. I'm gonna block this here so that he doesn't get the cannon. I'll test their metal against my fire. I mean, I okay. Now I can dive him. He doesn't have his E, and that's the only tool that prevents him from diving me. Right? That's the only ability in his kit that prevents me from diving him. I didn't mean to tank that, but that's fine. And now I just dive him here if he stays. Because he doesn't have E, right? We can just dive him there pretty easily. Then we just get this wave in and then we back. We got a million and one plates there. And I'll probably just go play the seal caps here anyway. Now I gotta worry about the Akshan. No, okay. Akshan's still mid lane. Good stuff. They have a lot of auto attackers on their team, so I'll probably just go play the seal caps anyway. And then I'm going to go Eclipse. Nothing wrong with a life of peace. To be honest, Frozen Heart would probably be a better second buy here. And I'll probably get a third into Sterax, I guess. Eclipse into Frozen Heart into Sterax sounds pretty good. And then I will be unkillable. I'll just be an absolute menace to their backline, pretty much. Oh, uh, I'm trolling. I am trolling. So let's just get this wave in. It's gonna slow push to the Jace anyway, right? So I might as well just... This. Okay, Mundo's just chilling there, I guess. Okay, I mean, that worked out. Good stuff. Now, we don't know where Akshan is, so we do need to be respectful of that. Okay, that's something. One for one, at least. I'm just going to recall immediately here. There's no point in me staying. Oh, no, I don't want to sell that. There we go. Now we go back up to top lane. So Jace is TPing in. That is not bad for us at all. He won't be able to get anything out of this, right? He won't be able to get the tower or anything, right? He just shoves in the wave before we can get there. But the rest of the world won't follow. Not on my oh, he aimed it correctly. Okay, good job on him. We have red buff though, so we're just going to heal it all up. Because <laughs> red buff is hilarious, dude. Not to mention with the fleet, right? Use our E to shove the wave a bit faster here. He thinks I won't just walk at him here. He thought he was fine because he... He thought he could walk up before because he, I didn't have my E, right? But like... I'll just jump on him anyway. I have red buff, I'll sustain up. He also has red buff to be fair, right? So he'll also sustain up, so it just doesn't matter at that point. Nice to dodge that, good stuff. Oh, that hits me, I tried to backstep it. Get him, team! Oh, Jace gets counterplay here. Okay, we should be able to push another tower here, actually. And if I can shove one more wave here, I'm super happy. Hit as many minions with the E as we can so that we can shove it as fast as possible. There we go. And now we can just recall here. Rampage. 
So I'll wait for the Glacial Buckler, actually. Because it's just the item that I can afford, right? Mana and Ability Haste is never bad either. Some action going on here. I can TP in if I need to, but... Oh, wait, it's Poland. They, they killed everything. Ah, they killed all the minions. But it looks like they didn't need me anyway. Okay, good stuff. He flees. So I want to shove one more wave up here so that I can have prior, and then I will... I need to be ready to TP on the Misfortune if somebody tries to get her. Again, we use our E here to shove the wave as fast as possible, but we don't know where Jace is, so we might get jumped. And I'm going to TP in here. Oh man, how did she know which direction? Did, she, did they have vision there? Or are they just that observant? I wonder if they have vision in this bush. There's no way, right? I have ghost running so I can run her down. I'll give it to the Cassidy. Okay, he gets it. Good stuff. We get the dragon. Good stuff. Back up to top lane to prevent get Jace from getting anything while I was gone. I wanted to TP here because there was a ward here. I didn't see it in time. But I thought if I TP'd here, they wouldn't spot me, right? But then Karma runs top side, so they must have had a ward. Then Karma ran top side up this way, right? So there must have been a ward in the bush that I TP'd to. For them to notice it. Either that or they just somebody pinged it on their team. Somebody just noticed the TP in the fog of war and pinged it for their team. Or Karma just ran that way by chance, which would also be super sad. Okay, there we go, wave in. We almost have our frozen heart. I might try to look for a flank here on the smolder if he pushes again. It does not look like he is though. So I want to shove in that case then, I'm going to... Since there's no play mid lane, I'm going to... And because they're all bot lane, so they're not really applying pressure up here. I'm going to take this opportunity to hard shove this wave. Oh, whole team is showing up. Whole team has appeared. There we go. I just really wanted that farm because that gives me my frozen heart, right? I was playing for my frozen heart there. I just wanted that bit of extra gold to get the frozen heart and then I can recall. Okay, now I should be insanely hard for them to kill. Frozen Heart is great into Akshan, and then they're just a bunch of AD as well with auto attackers, right? Like, I mean, Smolder is more of a caster, I guess, an AD caster, I guess. But still, I think their team is practically full AD, right? So, I think it is worth more. So, I'm actually going to go up here to secure Baron Vision for my team. We could maybe look to do it, actually. Put a pink in here, there's no vision. Did we just get it? Huge. Oh, we're fighting, okay. Oh, they kited my- they- they dodged my stuff, sad. I'm just trying to heal! Oh, Sundered Sky Diff! I was just hitting people, like, around me right once, just to keep proccing Sundered Sky, and it kept me alive, dude. Oh, cripes. Okay, let's see. We should be able to take this tower. I don't think Mundo can really kill me all that effectively. Because I have this- all just- just so much damage reduction from the Frozen Heart and all this healing and shielding, right? With my E, I don't think he can kill me too effectively. 
It's just the frozen, the hard steel burst that I'm scared of, pretty much. Okay, yeah, but once I get my stair axe, I'm going to be so unkillable, though. Okay, so. Let's see what's going on here. I'll path through mid, so that gives me more options to either path through to bot or top. I'll catch midwave here, because Cassidy is going to be late to it. Cassidy gets the action here, perhaps. Now we want to go in here and get some. Oh, wait, hold on. He did not. No, okay, he wins huge. another team fight and that's that well hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope to see you in the next one